So here we are, we're at the uh, Paris Auto Show. It happens every two years and it's absolutely huge. It's seven buildings and uh, something I always uh, like to see. Um, I think this is my fourth time uh, coming to the Paris Auto Show. And uh, so let's, uh, let's go inside and take a look around. Now, when I was here two years ago, uh, almost all the cars uh, that were electric, which was just a few different manufacturers, looked something like this, a little uh, golf cart kind of a thing. Today, uh, they've got an entire pavilion that's just electric cars, including a track, just like we saw in the uh, video day that I shot from uh, New York. And this is the car everybody came to see. This is the Nissan Leaf. It's backing up to try out uh, the track. I'm actually on the list for this, and uh, I'd like to take a closer look. But who needs a leaf when you can have one of these? Or these? Oh, now we're talking. Okay, I think I just found the color scheme and the car that we need. No, maybe not. Wow, I didn't even know that uh, Volvo was uh, working on some electric cars as well. This is a uh, Renault that's coming out very soon. It's a sedan. It's all electric. Okay, so I found out just where Nissan is. Here it is, the Nissan Leaf. So the seats do fold forward, but you have this battery hump here. Still, that's just as much space as the CRV almost. Once you fold the seats forward, uh, you can put all sorts of stuff in there. That could be cool. Sit in the back seat. I've got plenty of room back here. All right, so here's the inside. And uh, one of the unique things is this drive system. You push the lever to the left and then pull back, and that's drive. Push it to the left and forward, and that's reverse. And then P is the parking brake. <coughs> The uh, responsiveness on the map is fantastic. It's, it's about like an iPhone. The only thing I don't like is the uh, glossy plastic uh, ring around there. It's got a couple of cup holders. I don't know what these are. Oh, there's a USB jack. Sound. Car sound, it makes a noise when you're driving really slow. <laughs> Not too bad, kind of like it. The other thing that's really neat is just how far these doors open. They go almost uh, 90 degrees. And uh, the same thing with the back doors. That's about a normal opening. And 
and uh, this is with the seats folded down. As you can see, it's in line with the hump, and you've got the trunk in the back. Of course, that's removable. So, not too bad in terms of space. And you don't have to take the headrests off to do that. It's a five seat car. And that's what an electric engine looks like. All right, now here we are at the Chevy side of things. And this is the Chevy Volt, which has a, basically an APU on board, an engine. It charges a battery. Battery goes 40 miles, and then the engine kicks in if you need it. So the uh, idea is not to not to need it. And you can plug it in at home. Okay, so you can't look inside it. Apparently, looked all around, and they don't have one, even with the doors open. Kind of sad. All right. Well, this is as close as we'll get. Charges in three hours if you have a 240 volt outlet or 220, which most people would probably opt for. And it's it's definitely large. Not small. But I think I've settled on this car right here. It's you know kind of like an SUV except, you know, for one. And this is the ultimate. This is the Fisker Karma. It's a, they call it a plug-in hybrid on this one. Um, so I guess it's like the Chevy Volt, the way it works. Hasn't come out yet, but uh, it's a US car. And of course, here's Tesla, which is a US company that's doing pretty well. But I don't think the Tesla can accept car seats. And electric cars don't all have to be aerodynamic. This car, this exact car, drove all the way from Shanghai to Paris, eight, more than 8,000 miles, uh, just by borrowing uh, electricity from uh, the local uh, people. I just watched the, the movie they made. Well, that's an adventure. And electrics have been around since 1928. Not that car. This little thing. Single seat. Six volts. Two meters long. <laughs> Six feet long. 